the richest man in Africa today. You know him. What changed his life in 1991? Opportunity. He was around Benin, flying to Lagos to fly to Ghana. And he was with his personal assistant. An archbishop had two, a bishop in house had two white men that were going to Lagos. And you know, the owner of Okada was a bishop's friend. They said the flight was full. A bishop called the man. The man said, Sorry, a bishop, flight is full. A bishop said, But my people must be on that flight. He said, But flight is full. He said, Then two people must come down. Archbishop. He said, Two people must come down. He said, Okay. They know you, you are my friend. Go tell anything you can say. Abisham clapped the plate, told the pilot, I have an announcement. Pilot, what's the matter? He said, You sit on your seat. I have an announcement. He told, He said, I have two guests that must go to Lagos this night because they must catch their flight to America. I want two people to come down, travel tomorrow. Christians were there. They sat down. That's what some of them were saying. What well, I know, what kind of pastor is this one? Eh? He says a man of God and you want to uh, and then I possess my possession. The man he looked at his PA. He said, This is a man of God talking. Let's come down. And he came down and the two white men traveled. When they entered the plane, he was moving. The actual said, Come here. Who are you? He said, I'm a businessman in so 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 so. He said, Kneel down. As you stood up for me. The whole world will stand up for you. Recently, he just clocked 12 years of being the richest man in Africa, unbroken. 12 years. Because what is those kind of men, no matter how much you get, if you overtake them, under two days they will overtake you. Because covenant is working on them. Don't joke with covenant. Am I talking to somebody? It is covenant. What what is turn around? Opportunity. The first African to own a refinery. Could not own one man. 